Hey friends, welcome to the channel. If you want to organize your language learning projects and goals in a structured and visually pleasing way, using Notion, you found the right video. Los geht's! My name is Dustin. I'm an IT project manager from Germany. On this channel, we create content that helps us be productive, to learn new things, especially languages, and to live a happier and more fulfilling life. Because so many of you ask me about my Notion template for managing my language learning projects, today I want to show it to you in detail. And not only that, but also provide it to you as a template that you can just copy over into your Notion workspace completely for free. In my opinion, it's super important to know what we are working on and to make our projects and goals visible. This way you'll have a better sense of progress and since language learning is a marathon, not a sprint and it takes many hours and weeks and months and years, it's exactly what we need. I'm now using Notion for more than five years after I switched from Evernote to it and I'll never go back because it's like Evernote but on steroids. You can create and manage notes, but also tasks, calendars and much more. And with its high degree of customization, you're free to do what you want while it's also quite performant. I don't want to go too much in detail here. If you want to learn more about Notion, I can highly recommend the channel Thomas Frank Explains, as well as August Bradley, who has given me many ideas on how to set up the system. Let's actually have a look at the template. But before we start, you know what comes next? A nice sip. Of coffee. <sighs> Los geht's. Okay, now you can see the templates. I've created a new page for them. That you can easily copy them to your space and you'll find the link to that in the description of the video. You just need a Notion account. If you don't have one yet, you can create one for free to get started. I made a new template based on my personal project template that you have seen in earlier videos. And this is just one part of a bigger system, but it can be used autonomously and I have removed everything that's not necessary for to remove confusion and to keep it modular. As you can see here, there are two pages which are closely related and you should copy them both over to your space. Goals are part of projects, of course. Now let's have a look at the goals here. And as you can see here already, it's a database and it contains already two data sets. One is Klingen and one is Tokipona. Those would be two example projects. Of course, I'm not learning Klingen or Tokipona and those are just yeah, examples. And you can see a nice picture here. You can see the name, you can see a logo and you see the progress bar. Now let's have a look at Klingen and how that actually looks like. To have that picture in the gallery view that we have seen on the page earlier, you need to make sure to put it in as a cover and you can change that here on top. You just click on change cover and then you can upload it. More on that later. Also, I've added an icon to make it more pleasing, visually pleasing. The name, the priority, that it's active, the progress bar. Here are more properties than that, but I've just, yeah, I just hide them because they are not necessary to be shown here. Um, this is just the backbone of the whole thing. And you can also see here why this project, some input there that I got from ChatGPT and also thoughts on that. And then down here you see the different smart goals. And based on those smart goals here um, and the progress, it calculates the overall progress on this project. And you can see the same here for Tokipona, which is currently on hold, second priority. Also some text here, two different tasks or two different goals. And when you click on goals, you see also how a goal looks like and yeah that's actually it and now let's create our own project where i can show you then how it actually works and as you can see here it says untitled this is normal um, so we want to first click on new project this is an actual template that will fill out the page and put in the standard stuff so we do that then it's loading it takes a moment and now we can put in a name. Let's say we want to learn Spanish. Then we can change the icon. 
we pick the Spanish flag here, we can add a cover, uh, we can upload our own picture or we can use something from Unsplash for example. We might put in Spain maybe, okay Spain, oh this one I really like, I think I used that as a, in a thumbnail of one of my videos, really beautiful. Then you can put in a priority, so it's maybe first priority for you. You can add a status, it's active, you're currently learning it, or you could also choose on hold, next up, future or completed. You can also add more options if you will want. And you see the progress bar, which is currently at 0% as set. Here you see more stuff, smart goals, but you don't add them here, but further down, I will show you uh, that in a minute. You can see the smart goals that are done, the total smart goals. Those are variables that we need to actually calculate the progress and then based on the progress that we calculate uh, to fill out the progress bar. The formulas you can find here. So it's really basic, it's nothing, nothing special. The progress bar is a bit more complicated, of course. And then you can hide the, the, um, yeah, the properties or the attributes again. Then you can see here why this project, then you type something in, you can add thoughts, and then you can see here a view of the other database, of the smart goals database. And this is really important and really neat because here you can add now a goal. So let's say, I don't know, want to learn Spanish and uh, it's a new language. What I really like to do when I'm starting out with the language is to read through the link mini stories if you're already ready or already. If you're ready already, that sounds good, okay. Uh, work through all link mini stories, for example. Okay, and then we open it. Let me make it a bit bigger. This is how it looks like. Then we can add also a date when we wanna have finished this goal. Let's say 31st of March. We can add the status. This is an active goal. We can add how many we have completed. I know that there are 60 mini stories, we have completed zero. And this is important that you can calculate the progress bar as mentioned. And you can see already that project is already filled out and there's a reference to the project. So it's already linked and that's quite neat. You'll see in a minute why. And you can also see the term, now short, medium, long. So let's say you wanna do it in the next three months. And then down here you have this, nice template, new smart goal. And when you click on it, the site will get filled out already. So we do that, let's wait a minute, okay. And then you can add notes and also resources. And you can of course also change the template if you want. And this is actually it. Oops, let's go back to project. And this way you can create your own projects and manage the things how you want them to be. And one thing I've completely forgotten is, oops, give me a sec. Oops, no, not here. Okay, um, make sure to not copy the whole database around, but just views. We wanna have the data consistent in one place. So you can, if you wanna create a view, you just type in slash view and then you can choose what kind of view you want to have. For example, gallery, gallery view. And then you can choose the database. For example, smart goals or projects. I don't really use the smart goals or I don't visualize them, but I rather visualize the whole projects. This is then how it, oops, sorry. And this is then how it looks like. Here you got a nice view of the project. And of course you can also adjust it and change it. So, summing, summing it up, you have databases that serve as a backbone for your system. Those databases you then use to reference from. So you create views to the data sets in the database. And then you can change stuff here also. And then the data in the database gets written. Just make sure to not copy the databases around because then the data will be inconsistent and you will have different um, things. Okay, and for example, this is then how it looks like in my system. This is my command center where I keep all the databases. As you can see here, smart goals and projects are 
two databases that the whole system is relying on. And also in my action zone, for example, this is the part where I do the steps where I actually act, where I um, yeah, put in the work on a daily basis. And down here you can also see the active projects and I do it exactly as described. I created, I created a view um, that pulls from the database or that is accessing the database. And you can also add multiple views here. Also a table view, for example, the gallery. And that's actually it. And I said you can find the template link in the description of the video and you can just uh, copy them over. Please let me know in the comments how you are using Notion when it comes to language learning and what else you would like to see. I've got another video about my Notion template where you can also see other parts of it somewhere here. Or if you're interested in language learning app reviews, check this playlist. If you found the video useful, please leave me a like and a subscription to the channel and do not miss anything going forward. Click also on the notification bell. Thank you so much for watching and see you the next time.